President Trump is in Texas today where he met earlier with the families of victims in the Santa Fe high school shooting. This comes one day after Texas Governor Greg Abbott unveiled a 40-point plan for improving school safety across his state. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host. Katie Pavlich is the editor of Town Hall. Ed, ta editor of Town Hall. They said editor again because you are such an important editor. Yes. Please say it twice. Again, okay, both of them are Fox News contributors. Um, Katie, I know that you are very well versed in the Second Amendment, and I did want to ask you about some of these states that have gone ahead and taken some action. I have, I think, I have a map here: uh, Florida, Oregon, Kansas, Ohio. Like all across the board, you have. Many states have decided to take it upon themselves, which I think is appropriate, right? That, uh, yeah. No need to wait for Congress. Go ahead and make your own decisions. And then Abbott's school safety plan includes a few things that I wanted to get your um, point of view on. Tougher penalties for people who use guns to injure and kill, blocking people from buying guns within 24 hours, this red flag law. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people are very interested in that, which is basically temporarily removing guns from people de deemed dangerous. Um, counselors and also an app uh, that would be used across the state to report suspicious behavior and activity. Um, from your standpoint, as somebody who does support the Second Amendment, do you think that all of those things are, you know, sort of make sense? Yeah, I think looking at the, that list, tougher penalties for people who use guns inappropriately against uh, people who are innocent, not in self-defense, is certainly warranted. And I think the most important part of this 40-page plan, Dana, is that all of the recommendations came from the people on the ground in Texas and the people who were affected by the Santa Fe shooting and other shootings like the Sutherland Springs shooting that we saw recently at that church. Governor Abbott focused on a number of roundtables talking to mental health experts, gun safety experts, law enforcement, teachers, and administrators to really gather a lot of this information and to put forward an action plan that actually is pertinent to what each school needs. Because a lot of the time on the federal level, it becomes a one-size-fits-all policy, and every single school in this country has a, a, a different need, whether it's the security of the school, whether it's a hard tar target, a soft target, the setup of the school in New York City is very different than one in Texas. So this plan, I would actually encourage a lot of people around the state, par our country, parents, governors, to read it and look at it, because it's it's a comprehensive plan on the mental health aspect, mm -hmm. the security aspect, mm -hmm. and making sure that people are responsible gun owners uh, at home as well. Leslie, let me get your take on that because there is certainly um, action at the state level, um, not all across every, every uh, 50 states, but the Congress has failed to act on a few things that they said that they would try to do. Uh, I think we have a list of those things, all from you know, background checks and the assault weapons ban. Of course, I'm not necessarily saying that that's a great idea. But I wonder what you think about state action versus congressional action and what that might actually mean for action for Democrats and enthusiasm going into the midterms. <laughs> Well, first of all, Dana, Congress has failed uh, not just the American people but uh, our children uh, by not taking this up. So I think that the states have no choice, and I actually applaud uh, a lot of these uh, 40 points in Governor Abbott's measure. But I stand somewhat with the Democrats in the state of Texas that it doesn't go far enough. Uh, Katie says it's comprehensive. It's a comprehensive problem, multifaceted problem. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't address things such as if a student were to get their parents' gun, which we have seen in some of these no, mass it does. shootings. It, does, uh, it doesn't address Address the type of weapon. It doesn't address the type of weapon. It does not uh, certainly uh, 24 hours. I, I like that it doesn't go far enough. So I would like to see more gun control measures. Mm -hmm. And as you know, we can only do so much on a state level. Mm -hmm. So you need both. You need Congress along with points like this and proposals like this on a state level that as well. For the midterms, I think it will. I think honestly, sadly, Dana, uh, the, the, every time there's a shooting, uh, there seem to be more young people uh, that register to vote. Uh, and, and, and that's sad. Mm -hmm. So I think that actually it will help Republicans, even though this mm -hmm. shouldn't be a political issue. It certainly in the midterms can help Republicans um, if they see that this is a bipartisan issue. There are Democrats mm -hmm. that own guns and Republicans who want more comprehensive gun control measures. Yeah. All right, Katie and uh, Leslie, thank you. The press conference squeezed me a little bit. So no problem. appreciate you being here today. <laughs> thank you.